comes from. Okay, so this is the day after Mocha Fest. I went to the Sunday session because I had something else to do on Saturday, um, but it was really nice. I enjoyed seeing all the different artists, and there were also I didn't realize this, but there were always there was also going to be schools there um, showcasing their different programs. Like for one, there was um, FIT, and they were showing their MFA program, and then there was also um micah was there too which was cool to see because i remember i remember i applied to micah when i was going through um college applications and i can't remember now if i got in or not but i do remember the name i did get to see megan wang which was so cool um because i've always uh, i've been watching her videos for a couple years now maybe a year or two and uh, just seeing her growth is so cool and then to also see her in person because I think she recently moved to Brooklyn was just icing on the cake so I got to pick up a few of her prints and I only picked up two because I'm on a budget and I didn't want to go crazy there but I got to pick up these really lovely prints I wanted for sure to pick up one of her rise up Riza Rizo prints that she recently did and if so I got this one got this one so I would just picked up a few prints that spoke to me while I was there so next I got a print from this artist who gave me her card and I plan to follow her online there I got uh, work from Alex Smith oh wow yeah Alex Smith she's an illustrator and this is her card look at the back of her card I love the color of her card and here's a few of the work that I got I got this print and I got the last one of this I love this so much I didn't even read the bottom it says sexy and powerful I just love the pattern and the print I love this recreation and then I got this and I was just drawn to the color too and then the the pose and everything was this one unfortunately the artist did not give me um her business card so I'm not too sure who actually did this um I wasn't thinking usually the artists when I'm when you order a print or when you purchase a print in person they like throw you their business card in there but for some reason she didn't give me one <laughs> um but next time hopefully if I go there again next year I'll see her again and I'll get a bit I'll figure out who she is my boyfriend he came with me he got this magazine it's not a magazine I'm sorry this fanzine based off a video game that he really enjoys um jet generation of radio plus future fanzine uh, it has not been opened and I'm not going to open it and let him uh, enjoy that experience but it was cool to see that there are people making that uh a fanzine based off of that game that seems kind of obscure to me but you know I'm not really Okay, and this is the last thing I got because I needed um, a bag to take all this print home without damaging it. So I got this tote bag. Isn't this beautiful? It's screen printed and it's like a light, it's like a, what do you call it? Like a gesture drawing of a figure. So arty, I love it, I love the arties. And it's a really beautiful card. I have to redesign my 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 um, business cards. They don't look anything like this. So beautiful. Uh, artist name was Lauren Skinman Burke. 
really enjoyed their tote bag so if any i encourage you to follow these artists because i just think we all should work together to spread our message that we do art anyway so that was my little haul and on to the next clip welcome back wait no i should sit down first hi welcome back um today we're gonna do a little weekend project it's my boyfriend's birthday and instead of buying him something i decided to make him something so just jumping right into it right um so what i decided to do was um I already have blank t-shirts from when I thought I was going to be like an embroidery business. A long story, but ignore. We're going to talk about that later when we get more time to go back into it. Um, but I have these t-shirt blanks and they happen to be a size. And I also bought a sweatshirt blank, Fruit of the Loom from Amazon for like $13. So I bought those two different things. So one I'm going to embroider on there. Um, Strickland Propane, maybe with like a patch, like a removable patch as his name. Um, one because he likes King of the Hill and two, um, why not? Um, since I have the machine, I haven't like turned it on in what has to be months. It's collecting dust and I need to use it. And for the t-shirt, what I was going to do is I was going to use my sublimation printer, another thing I bought when I thought I was, um, I like to start things and stop things, um, the whole, yeah, it. anyway, so I have, a I have a sublimation printer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the line and I'm going to print out a, um, Eagles, I was going to print out a Philadelphia Eagles, um, image and um go from there um and just print it out for my submission printer and then iron it on um of course um i recommend don't steal images uh buy from the artist who makes them all that good stuff but unfortunately we're in a budget so we can't I'm just curious to see if it can be done because I've never really used my sublimation printer. Um, it's, I got it like a while ago, but I just never really, I was gonna use it, like Photoshop my own images together and then print off those images onto t-shirts, but I never really got the time to make those things. So, anywho, uh, I'm just gonna take um, one that I like, like one of their, I'm gonna do two, one of their, one, that I, one picture that I found that I liked and one of their older logo, and then I'm gonna go from there. So I just finished cleaning out the nozzle head because as I said, like I haven't used the printer in a while. So I just cleaned off the nozzle head and now it should be good to print because the first print I did was ended up being this and this and it looked really bad. So I'm gonna reprint it. I'm gonna do this really quickly. I'm hoping to give this back to him tonight. Um, hopefully, before the end of his birthday or so. If it comes out right, I bought this stuff like a week ago and I thought I would have more time to work on it, but I didn't. Oh, I'm slow, I should've flipped the image. I'm ironing this on something. the issue now there's still lines in this and I just printed it out and it came out much better than the first time you do have to change your quality settings from um what was it like auto or standard to high sorry from auto to high quality because it came out much better they said it's okay with it's okay if it has some fading because it will darken once you put it under heat so we'll test that theory promptly and um, what we're going to do now is I just bought the Strickland Propane um, SGV, SVG file. Hold on. I just bought the SVG file for that. And so what I'm going to do now, what I'm going to do now is after this finishes, whatever, is I'm going to put it and upload it into my embroidery software programming thingy and um, auto make it so that it comes out like a patch and see if I'm going to test it out first and then final product and border it on the sweatshirt um, instead because I only bought one. So try not to mess that up. And yeah. 
So for this part, I used a Cricut press to heat transfer the image onto the t-shirt. I had the machine at 400 degrees and I held it there for 40 seconds and just making sure to put all my body weight on there for a firm uh, press. So I've decided to start and to print it out even bigger to fill up the paper properly. So now I'm gonna cut this out and put it together. I'm still printing the rest of these. Printed like this, which is like, what the heck is this? So. This is what we have. I got the stretcher right here. I went with Food of Loom, like I said. Got it from Amazon. Pay $13. It's fleece, cotton. I got this size. And I'm gonna do it right here. Just had to make sure I'm putting it in the right place. So one second. Hey guys, it's the moment of truth. The embroidery machine just clicked off that it was finished. I'm gonna raise the lever. I am also going to now take this out. Look at that. That came out really good. Very clean. Clean enough. Okay, this part. Can you see that? That part messed up a little bit that's what happens when you digitize and don't do it yourself but eh, i didn't have time to do all that i mean by digitize you like automatic digitize and not you know do everything by hand <sighs> let's see oh it's straight it came out good it's straight, it came out really good. I like it. This came out great. It's really small, but what can you do? What can you do? It's supposed to be small. I think I wanted it a little bit bigger, but I didn't want it too big. But this is good for like a pocket size, little emblem. Make it look like you're working there. And then I think now I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something on the sleeve too, just cause I feel like it's a little plain. And from there, I'll stop. 